Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to the channel here. So today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, this video was recorded on July 16th, 2019, and uh, this was the first day of the driveway demolition project, I guess you could call it. Um, if you guys have seen the time lapse that combines all four or five days, uh, that one's been up for a while, but I never uploaded all of these individual days and the time lapse is much shorter um, I should say longer in these um, the one the, the real popular one I'll put a link to it above is the one that has all the five days together and it's the whole things in like four minutes whereas this is just day one and I think the things like 10 15 minutes long so what you see here is um, I had made an agreement with my concrete contractor Mark Warsaw with Crete Construction by Design that uh, as part of the driveway I wanted to put in some sauna tubes for a future deck that I want to build off the back of the house there so he had his excavator um, crew there which I believe Mark contracts out drill the holes for me and then Mark set the uh, sauna tubes and he didn't pour them today but he poured them I think tomorrow the next day but um, yeah, they were all set 48 inches deep and set them to the proper height. And uh, that's kind of what you see there is us getting those all in line, getting them straight. And you can see the excavation contractor there removing the old driveway. So the driveway part in the back here was concrete, obviously, uh, four inch thick, and it was poured in 2010. And unfortunately, on that line um, that runs out from the garage there that you see between the two piles of dirt there, uh, it had heaved, like running along the house. Um, and over the years of it heaving and then settling down in the spring and then heaving again in the winter and settling down, um, that section, those squares that are along the house there are actually pitched towards the house. And that's bad because as it rains, the water's all running back towards the house. So on top of that being pitched incorrectly and I wanted to heat it, uh, this all had to come out. It was cracked uh, pretty bad in a couple of spots. And I really don't know how well it was poured back in 2010. Um, but anyway, I decided we're just going to pull it all out. We're going to repitch it properly and we're going to have the foam board under it. Uh, Mark was great as far as uh, making sure it was real compacted and we're doing a thicker slab this time and all of that. So the front part of my driveway, kind of in front of where those two gate posts are there, that was all original asphalt from when we had bought the house um, almost 15 years ago now. And it had been beat up pretty bad. I had patched it a couple of times. I never really sealed it. Um, but then when we did the basement, when we poured the basement, we that side entryway that you see there with that oak door, that wasn't there yet. Um, I added that on to the house. There was an opening in the wall there into the basement, so they backed the fully loaded cement trucks up the driveway and put the chute down into the basement so we could re-pour the basement floor. And that was in like 2011. So you can imagine what the fully loaded cement truck did to that asphalt driveway as it, I think two of them uh, it took to back up and down that. So I was planning on replacing that all anyway, as you can see here. Um, so yeah, I believe uh, that's Gasper in the excavator there and he's just doing his thing, digging it up and taking it all out to the truck. Uh, part of the agreement with with Mark was, you know, this isn't really a standard driveway because we did have to dig it down quite a bit deeper. Number one, we're doing a five inch slab instead of a four inch because of the heat. And then number two, I'm doing two inches of rigid foam underneath it. So we've got to dig this thing down a good seven inches for from where I want the top of it to be. So that's why if you see, if it, if it seems a little bit excessive, like he's really taken out a lot of material, um, he is. There was a lot of material here to remove to get it down that deep so that our, our final height was right where we wanted it with all of that. So 
coming up here, um, you're going to see on the back of the house there, I'll show you, that's that's me with the, uh, the blue shirt on and the black hat. Um, Gasper's going to grab the excavator here and start digging right behind the house. And I'll show you exactly what I'm... Uh, what I'm looking for there. This is all just removing all that material I was just talking about to get it down. He had quite a bit of stone in there and other dirt, clay to remove. So yeah, we're just going over stuff. So here's the excavator and I had asked him if he could dig and find me the six inch PVC pipe that runs underground from the garage into the basement. So when we poured the garage right there, we ran a six inch pipe through the garage foundation before we poured it, and along with some two inch electrical conduits and other stuff. And there's the six inch PVC pipe, and that runs from the basement floor underground and into the basement, from the garage floor underground into the basement of the house. So I was trying to find that pipe which which he exposed for me there and then I just went to town preparing this all up so what I'm doing is I'm going to put some four inch saddle wise onto that six inch pipe and that's how I'm going to bring all of my snow melt loops into the basement that makes it so that I don't have to drill another hole in the foundation I don't have to mess up the spray foam and all of that plus my fields my foundation in this section of the house is field stone which isn't the easiest to bore a perfectly circle hole in you know usually you'll end up with stones and it's just it's a mess so what i'm doing here is cutting out with the dremel these ovals trying not to hit the pex pipes that are already inside the pipe from the garage so what i did is i took like a two by six and slid it inside the pipe on top of the existing pex so that if the dremel did poke through a little bit it would hit the wood and not the pecs. So there I went in the basement, I'm pulling it out right now. I just pulled the wood out along with those two pieces that fell in and I'm just cleaning it up real well and starting to fit those Fernco four to six inch saddle wise on there. Um, I sealed them up real good with, I forget what I use, some sort of silicone or adhesive. And then I also use the band clamps that come with them and tightened them down real good there. And then I just took a piece of four inch PVC and cut it, glued it into a 45 for each of them, and then just came uh, straight up. So here I think I'm sealing around those real well. I, I didn't want to get any water in them. So there's the little pieces and then the 45 stick up. And then I just cut a couple of pieces of um, four inch PVC. I think it's like SDR 35 and buried it. Um, I took some electrical or uh, duct tape and masked off the holes so that we weren't getting stones and debris and other stuff in there. Uh, you'll see me do that here shortly. And then, um, yeah, those are ready to go. So what you'll see in the upcoming videos is once I get the foam board insulation down and I know my, my exact height of that insulation, I'll take the Dremel and I'll cut those pipes off flush. And then I can just route the packs for the driveway for the snow mount right down into the basement and then they'll pour right over it and you'll never even know it's there so no manifolds or anything uh, out um, if you look out there by the street right now um, I had a bubbler in fact it was is one of the first videos I ever posted on YouTube I think and it's still up there um, it's old it's I'll say like six years ago, seven years ago maybe, I posted a video of how that bubbler would always get plugged when it rained. And you can see that the water would never really drain. It would just bubble out the top and into the road. But yet if I went over to the other one, it worked great. So what I did there was while they were here with the excavator, again, I had this all worked out with Mark, but I wanted them to dig that all out for me. And I cut off the existing bubbler. I just cut the four inch drain tile um, off there and I'm going to put in a six inch which you'll see um, so yeah that drain tile runs down the not the middle of the driveway it's it's probably about four feet off the front of that entryway and it runs straight back it picks up all the gutters on this side of the house it picks up that entryway it picks up the four downspouts on the garage 
there's a floor drain in the middle of the garage floor that ties into it um, the sump pump and that back balcony there on the house they all tie into it so it carries a lot of water um, down to the uh, to the drain to the storm sewer at the road so at the end of the day um, that was the end of the time lapse that was pretty much the removal of the old driveway I guess you could say um, I just took the GoPro and walked around and basically did like an overview of what we had done that day and, and again this part of it I don't think I ever really intended to put on YouTube uh, the time lapse I kind of maybe had an idea that someday I would post up here for you guys to see but this walking around was more just for me for my reference so that I could you know reference where things were or how things were so forgive the footage if it's a little shaky or if I'm not really pointing the camera at certain things in particular um, I didn't talk during this whole video it was more just to like I said just to document where things were and how things were done so that's why there's no sound uh, there was sound but I I deleted it and I'm talking over it just because uh, there was really nothing on there so yeah Mark uh, you can see where Mark kind of cut it down there quite a bit and he still hasn't tamped it or anything like that um, and we were raising the back up a little bit so we we're trying to get the right pitch to get it away from the house and down uh, the driveway so right along the house here you'll see that PVC pipe right there um, that used to be a downspout before we resided the house and what I ended up doing with that you'll see in the later videos is I cut it off and I tied the the drain I put a channel drain right along the house so that in the rare occasion that the slab did heave again and the water did start running towards the house again which I don't want to say it's impossible nothing's impossible but um, if it ever did do that again the water would never get to the foundation and into the basement like it did before it would go into that trench drain and or that channel drain and then go down into the drain tile and uh, out to the road so the thing now though guys is with the foam board insulation and with the driveway being heated most of the time if it's snowing um, the odds of the frost ever getting deep enough underneath this driveway to heave it again are really unlikely um, the, the two inch foam board alone there's studies out there where it shows that uh, the two inch foam board alone significantly reduces the depth of the frost to where the ground can freeze you know low enough to cause that that heaving so uh, there used to be a sidewalk right here that went right from the main sidewalk up across my front lawn and right to the front door and we took that out and decided to go with one that cuts over to the driveway instead um, what we found over the years of living here is that uh, everybody that pulled in the driveway would then just walk across the grass and go to the front steps nobody would ever walk down to the sidewalk and then back up to the front so Here's where I had him dig out. Um, I had him dig to the bottom of the curb and uh, expose that so that I could get down in there with a six inch pipe. Here's the four inch pipe that comes down that I was talking about. And they just dug along the curb. Um, there's some electrical lines for the street lights that uh, luckily we did not hit. So yeah, and then down here, none of this is heated down here. This is just gonna be a six inch thick apron and then the uh, the sidewalk will be four inches thick on the parts that are not in front of the driveway so the parts that are in front of the driveway will also be five so yeah you'll see in the later videos where I uh, I show you that new bubbler and it, it works so much nicer and six inches is so much easier to get down in there with you know with tools with your hands with the shop vac clean it out um, it's it's just a lot nicer I'd recommend if any of you guys are putting a bubbler in or anything go go with six inch at the curb so that you can really get down in there and clean it out um, so yeah this is where we uh, came over to my front steps um, yeah this house was built in the 20s and there used to be brick steps on there and we removed the brick steps in 2007 
and poured these and the concrete contractor kind of messed up as you see there the bottom step is deeper than the rest so i do have something in the works i think for that uh with mark we might actually do that this year which is 2021 which is the time i'm recording this right now um but I'll, I'll do videos on that later and show you guys. I'd like to heat it. I'd like to add some some heat to the those stairs. So, yeah, and this is just walking around, uh, just looking at the excavation job. They did a good job. Um, the only thing that I would say that was, quote, unquote, bad was he did bump into the corner of the gutter right there with the machine when he was drilling the post holes. Um since I took this video, I did get up there. I did buy a new corner. Um, he offered, he said he would come back and replace it. Um, he never did, but I bought a new one. But then before I even installed that, I just got up there with a hammer and kind of banged it out. And um, it's, it seems to be okay. So yeah, my plans here are to have a floating deck. It won't tie into the house with a ledger. It'll all be freestanding. And then the two sonotubes that are in the front there are for the stair posts. So there'll be stairs coming right off the front. And then I'll run beams to the back there. And uh, I'll, I'll do a whole s separate playlist and a separate series on, um, on that when I build it. So anyway, uh, stay tuned. This is just day one out of several days for this project. So uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you on the next one.